After the test pilot party, I had a list of things that could be improved or changed on the Max Flight Simulator. I've rebuilt pretty much the entire thing. Uh, this is the twelfth time that I've built and rebuilt this thing uh, with different designs or, or different uh, control philosophies. I've rebuilt the joystick. It's no longer predominantly PVC pipe. It's wood. What I noticed is as people got in and out of the flight simulator, they would rest their weight on the armrest. So this entire structure needed to be uh, much stronger. Another helpful thing is I can remove it here instead of trying to carry around these uh, weights and I can also remove it back here at the, uh, the counterweight system. Let's talk about this new control weight system I have back here. Uh, you, you see now I'm swinging 30 pounds back here. We were only swinging 10 pounds before. That's because the pivot point was so close to the center of gravity. We didn't need much weight to change the uh, pitch angle of the entire platform. While that was exciting, that was also very unstable. And with some of my uh, heavier test pilots, their physical center of gravity was actually over the pivot point, and <laughs> the simulator would just lean uh, all the way forward or all the way back. Now the simulator is much more stable, but requires much more force to push this 30 pounds back. The more you pull back on the joystick, the more force is required to push back this 30 pounds of weight. Well, the reason I didn't do this in the first place is because it was the control force was just too much. It was just too heavy. It was very uh, unrealistic. So now we have a counter counterweight system. So as we pull back on the joystick, and as it requires more and more force to move that 30 pound counterweight, well, we have a counter counterweight up front which is rolling downhill. And the steeper the flight simulator gets, the more this counter counterweight wants to roll downhill. This is a 25 pound counter counterweight. So now we're swinging 55 pounds forward and back to move this thing. Now, as I pull the joystick forward and back, it requires no more force than it did when we were only swinging 10 pounds back and forth. I love this thing! Not just a counterweight, but a counter counterweight. Now we're easily able to swing 55 pounds forward and back, significantly change the pitch attitude of this here flight simulator. Yeah, yeah. I've also reinforced the counterweight support system back here with additional metal and now we have heavy half inch threaded rod to help hold all this up. We've made the chains longer so the entire platform is actually hanging farther below the pivot point which makes it much more stable which means we don't need the trim system here anymore. The entire fuselage is more narrow, it's about three feet wide. I completely rebuilt the uh, the underframe underneath the platform here with shorter front and back spars. This allowed us to shorten the base underneath and now the entire distance from the outside of the left upright to the outside of the right upright is four feet. The entire thing is four feet wide. Now we had always planned on putting a platform, or I'm sorry, a plywood platform here to stand on, uh, but gosh, now that it's here, it's so nice to have that to stand on and it, and it just gives it a much more finished appearance. I'm really pleased with the way that turned out. Now, directly because of feedback from these flight simulator test pilots, 
we tilted the seat back a few degrees. I added some metal here on the front uh, to tilt the entire thing back a little bit. My original idea for this would be for people to climb up into it as opposed to sit down on it. Uh, I've had to give up that, uh, that little idea for now because if we were to put this on a platform, a two or three foot high platform, that would be too tall to get in and out of the truck. So, where are we going to put the computer and the other associated equipment? This is our solution. We're going to have a separate box with umbilicals leading to the flight simulator. And inside the box we have plenty of room for the computer, and a power strip and other whatever associated equipment that we need, whatever cooling equipment we need for the, uh, the computer. I didn't originally want to do this, but because of the weight concerns, we're going to have to have, we definitely have to have this separate from the flight simulator. Uh, that was the other thing, concern was the weight, was how to get it up and down the ramp if it weighed 400 pounds. Twelve times the charm, right? 